I want to talk about this now because, look, if, if you're too busy to get into that whole Black Friday madness and all the madness at the malls for, you know, holiday shopping, Christmas gifts, etc., you just go online, right? It's great. It's easy. A couple of clicks away. You're safe. You're secure. No problem. Well, apparently uh, there's a problem with those addresses that you thought were safe. Let's bring in Moxie Marlin Spike right now, Internet security expert. Hey, Moxie. So, Hello. Moxie, the, the whole idea, if we're, we're shopping online, which we all do, the key is to look for the, uh, the website that has HTTP, HTTPS in the address bar, right? It's going right, to make it right. all secure, all great, no problems. You say <laughs> well, not so much. Y- well, it, it could be. I mean, there's a few things to remember. Uh, the first is that the web was not designed with security in mind. It was sort of added after the fact. Uh, and so that's why you know not all of your communication is secure. Only the the stuff uh, that has the HTTPS is secure. So you want to be extra careful where e- whenever you're going to submit something that's uh, sensitive, you you want to diligently check for that. But wait, so I'm uh, not even confused. If every- so I'm confused. I just want to make sure before we keep going on here. Are you saying that the HTTPS sites are now vulnerable, or they're not? Uh, well, so recently there have been some problems where um, the the kind of fi- foundations of the security on the web have been uh, failing, uh, have been falling apart. Uh, and there's a, a set of organizations known as certificate authorities, uh, and basically all of the security of uh, the web rests on these organizations. And uh, essentially over time, our, our confidence in these organizations has okay, so, slowly eroded. So, Moxie, I'm going to keep jumping in here, not to be rude or anything, but it's just that you're such sure. an expert on this that I'm going to have to break this down to the terms that we can all understand. So basically, sure. it, it appears that the information uh, that you thought was secure on those HTTPS sites perhaps are in a little bit of trouble. And, and if you could break down to me, if the hackers are indeed stealing information from these sites, what sort of information are we talking about? And from what I understand, it's not just these sites. If you're on your computer, it's also on your mobile phones, right, as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, So basically, there have been a number of recent incidents uh, where uh, hackers or attackers have uh, been able to uh, compromise these organizations, certificate authorities uh, that are sort of the the foundation for security on the web. Uh, And that has had implications for just individual users' traffic. Uh, There's been, uh, you know, a number of things that have happened uh, in the Middle East, um, in Iran, for instance, where uh, many people's communication was intercepted uh, by some unknown attacker. Okay. Uh, And so this... So are they stealing uh, information? Are we stealing credit card uh, info? uh, You know, it's unclear. All, all that we know, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, different attackers have different motivations. Some people are interested in financial gain. Some people are informi- uh, interested in information for political purposes. Um, but, you know, fundamentally, this the system that we have today uh, is starting to disintegrate. Okay, so, uh, so a number so, of people. So let me understand what you're saying. These hackers, what they're able to do is like, if I'm going to or, or, or a particular website that I think is safe, these hackers are able to have these certificates that you're talking about to make themselves look like they're actually the website I'm trying to go to when really I'm going to a fake website. Right. Everything will look uh, exactly the same. Everything will look identical. Uh, everything in your web browser will indicate that this is a secure site, uh, and yet there's somebody who's intercepting your secure communication. Holy moly, hold on. Tara Daldell is sitting here with me, and believe it or not, she's my guest in studio. Uh, Moxie, it happened to her. What, what happened, Tara? I was uh, sent a direct message on Twitter by someone who I thought was someone I was connected to on Twitter, and the message told me that there was something, be careful, there's some bit misinformation about you on the internet. And so it provided a link. And I clicked on the link, and the link took me to a page that looked just like a Twitter page Mm -hmm. for me to log in. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, that's weird, because why would I log into a Twitter page to get information about me on the Internet? So that was my first clue. And then I looked more closely at the link, and the link was Baidu, which is the Chinese version of Google. See? And it said Twitter, right. but it had like one small thing that was off in the uh-huh. in the so Twitter so you were address. smart enough to notice so that, and you didn't submit any information. I didn't put information. my information. See, Moxie, a lot of people, you know, we're we're running a mile a minute. We're we're doing five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five sure. things at one time. So we don't always see those little small details. So what? But aside from being able to pay more attention, is, is there something that's more obvious that could pop up to show us? In fact, hey, red flag, this is not where you want to go. Don't go there. 
Right. Uh, I mean, for now, uh, the best you can do is to be really diligent, uh, just to be super yeah. careful with whenever you're submitting information like a login and password, in this case, or credit card number, and to be very, very careful uh, because these attacks are very real. Mm. Uh, and then in the meantime, you know, people in the security community are, are working to uh, improve the situation so that uh, this isn't such a concern. In, in a couple of things, I want to I want to mention your the convention that you're going to be participating in next Tuesday and Wednesday in in Las Vegas, Take Down Con. It's a, a single focus uh, uh, event that you guys did in Dallas. I know before and it was pretty successful because you focus on one particular security issue as it pertains to internet hacking and the things that we're talking about. So first, I want to ask you what the focus is this year, and and then part two of, of the answer I'd like from you is to tell me how difficult is it for inter internet security experts like you to stay ahead of these hackers? Yeah, okay, so uh, Takedown Con is uh, it's next, next week in Las Vegas, uh, and the focus is on mobile security. So the, the whole conference is about um, you know, securing mobile devices, uh, and this is becoming increasingly relevant as more and more of our lives uh, are spent on these mobile devices, and there's more and more information that is worth um, more and more. Uh, and you know, in terms of um, this you know, offense-defense thing, it's, uh, it's very difficult um, that you know, as a defender, you have to identify every single possible place that an attacker uh, could um, gain access to a system, whereas an attacker just needs to find one. Uh, so it's, it's always imbalanced, right, where you have to cover the, the, entire, uh, the entire spectrum and an attacker, all they have to do is find one little niche. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult, but um, you know, a lot of effort is going into changing the, uh, the foundation of the way that the Internet works uh, so that okay. uh, this is, a, you know, a, a, a more balanced game. Well, we, we hope that you guys get some answers there. Uh, stick, stick around for one second, Moxie, because uh, King of Politics, one of our chatters, he's saying, Arthel, the bandwidth TAX tax is going to clean up every time. Do, do you know what that means? A bandwidth tax? I, yeah. I'm not familiar with a bandwidth okay. tax. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was code or, or what. Yeah. So, well, anyway, King of Politics, thank you. Hey, Moxie, so have a good time in Vegas. I know you're there to work, but, you know, it's Vegas. you got to do a little <laughs> something to have some fun. All right? Nice to Great. see you. Thank you. All right, thanks, Moxie. Yeah, thank you.